As we walk through God's words describing himself in Exodus 34, we come across the term abounding in love and faithfulness. In the summer, we looked at the book of Jonah at Manor Park. And one of the terms that Jonah uses in his prayer in chapter two is steadfast love. This term is translated from the word chesed. And chesed love isn't just a steadfast love, but it's a term that incorporates the magnitude of God's character found in that love. In 1 John, it says God is love. And what it means by that is not that God is loving in the same way that we may be as humans, but that his love is all encompassing of all of the characteristics of who God is. This chesed love is full of love itself, and full of care, it's full of compassion, it's also full of heartbreak, it's full of truth and it's full of discipline, as well as many, many other aspects that we can attribute to God's character. That's what it is to understand the fuller sense of God. He is love. When our verse says God is abounding in love, it's because his love, his character, who he is, is all coming to a, a culmination in the fact that he is indescribable. That's why we can be so amazed at his depth and his height and the width of God's love. You see, once you experience that element of God's love, that's not it finished. It's eternal, it goes beyond all things. In the best times, we see God's love, and in the worst times, we see God's love. God's love brings hope. You see, Jonah was in the belly of the fish, but he still found himself praising the loving God who never fails.